So what we're gonna make is these brass knuckles with extra spikes on them. So look like that, like that, like that. And we designed them like this. So let's get started. First we go to this knuckle duster prop that we found on Thingiverse. So you download that STL, you upload the STL to Tinkercad, and we get this. So the first thing we wanna do is kinda of make it so where it's easier to pull off the printer. So this is printed flat. Let's move it around a little bit. So let's turn it. All right, turn it 90 degrees. Kind of move it over to the actual platform. Okay, so now it's time to add some extra intimidation on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this pyramid tool and we're gonna stick a pyramid over here. And we're gonna kind of pull it up a little so it's a little bit more spiky. And then we're gonna stick it on top of here. So we move it up, move it over a bit, and we'll place it on top of the knuckle duster. We'll use the arrows to place it on top of the knuckle duster, move it down just a bit, kind of like that. And we'll resize it to fit on top of this so we can make it one thing. Like that, like that, and we'll move it up a bit. And then you could always tilt a little bit if you want to make it face outward and put it there. So now you can see we've got a proper spike on top of it. And all we're going to do is copy and paste and put this one over, just move it over with the arrow keys and then flip it around 180 degrees. And now we've got two spikes. And now we're gonna take another pyramid and stick it right in the middle over here. Raise it up, make it a little bit of a different shape. And we're gonna resize that one also, just like we did the others. This is all really quick, really easy. And there you go. You got some extra intimidation on this knuckle duster. So you can move these over a bit move them down, make sure they're kind of firmly in the object. You can make this bigger or smaller depending on your tastes, uh, whatever you want to do. So you can make this even bigger. And then the last thing you do whenever you're done with this is you select everything and then group it together by clicking the group tool over here. And that way it'll make the whole thing a solid file. So there you go. So now you can uh, download this for 3D printing, select STL, download it and it'll come out just like that. Ready to print right on the platform. It'll come right off the platform, and all you do is hit make, and you're ready to go. And then a few hours after the print, you've got this that comes out of the printer. Please like, if you like this tutorial, please like it. Please sign up to our weekly build email list, and every week we're gonna send out a really cool, quick tutorial for you. So, hope you liked it. Please enjoy, and sign up for the email list.